Hood Outlaws and Legends is a brand new medieval PvPVE game in which two teams race to steal and extract treasure from the state. In this game you pick from one of four characters, each with different weapons, abilities and playstyles. At the start of a game you'll need to locate a guard who's carrying a key. Pickpocket the key, locate the treasure room dispatching enemies along the way, then grab the treasure and take it to one of three extraction points. The team who finishes winching the treasure first wins the game, so once that treasure is collected, a lot of PvP follows after. As of making this video, Hood Outlaws and Legends costs $30 to buy on Steam and is currently sitting at mixed reviews. But first, a quick announcement. I've joined a company called World Token, which is basically a decentralized escrow-based crypto marketplace as their gaming and content creation advisor. In return, they've created these six unique animated NFT digital art pieces for each of my 100k subscriber miles milestones that will be auctioned off on their marketplace starting June 5th. There's only one copy of each NFT minted, so big flex to anyone who gets a hold of one. Going forward, World Token aims to be the biggest e-commerce platform in crypto and will be adding Patreon slash OnlyFans style functionality to their platform, as well as gasless NFTs and physical products before the end of the year. You can also use World Token Crypto to buy things on Amazon, eBay and Walmart right now thanks to their partnership with Shopping to IO. Follow at World Token on Twitter for more info. Hood Outlaws and Legends. Straight into the game, are we? Steal the vault key. Wow, we're right into it. Find the vault. Extract the chest. Graphics looking quite nice. You are an outlaw. Your goal is to steal gold from the state and distribute it to the people. You must find the sheriff and pickpocket his key. Okay. Yeah, this game looks visually very nice looking game. Ooh, big damage, that felt good. Robin is deadly at range, but vulnerable at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Take out enemies from afar, then disappear. Sweet. Okay, big damage again, right in the face. Ooh, those bow shots to the head are very satisfying. Maybe that will help, what's this? Uh, there's a glowing thing here. I don't know how to pick it up. Out of bounds, what do you mean? Shoot the rope, no. Shoot the ropes to lower them. Oh, here. What's wrong with me? Press E to climb the rope. Are we gonna learn how to backstab? Press E to assassinate. So when I crouch, go up behind him, E. The forest sends it. Oh, brutal. Taking down enemies charges your ability meter. Each character has a unique ability that can be used. So Robin has a far sight. Okay. Oh, one. <laughs> Shit. Two. Oh, big daddy's popped out. So I've done the attack command, now what? Ooh, we're switching to another character now. The Hunter. Marianne's special ability is stealth. We go invisible, nice. So we need to pickpocket with E. Steal the key, yoink. This is actually kind of cool. Can we do a quick assassination? Yeah, there it is. So this character seems to have, oh, a crossbow. Big, oh, that didn't kill him in one hit. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, shies. Melee combat. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I'm very weak. Close range. Out of bounds. Good job, Craig. We fucked up the tutorial. Sometimes big damage is not the answer. Sometimes it's all about stealth damage. Oh, <laughs> oh f*** me. Thanks, Frank. Subtlety and stealth isn't my strong point, in case you haven't noticed. Come on then, Harry. Get shanked. Another one. Oh, yeah, the takedowns are pretty satisfying. Is this guard seriously just standing there with his back turned to me? What a donkey. 10 out of 10 security. Open the vault. Now we need to steal the chest. Next character. The mystic, versatile melee fighter. That's more like it. We're using a flail. This is my kind of character. Big melee damage. Not really super stealthy. Grab the chest. There we go. We have escaped to the dock. Convenient boat waiting for us. And next we need to winch it. So at the top of the screen, there's little notches going up. And now what? Next character. Big hammer guy. The brawler. Okay, this is my character. Let's get in there. Oh, yes. Big hammer boy. Always oh, right click smashes things. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Calm down, Craig. Let's at least use it on an NPC. Oh, hammer. Oh, yes. Spacebar to parry. We don't need to parry, we just need to attack. Oh, break his block. Go on then, attack me. Come on, Trevor. There it is. 
Big damage. Who's next? Come on then, attack me. There is the block. There's the hammer. There's the smack. Okay. Go to the winch. Shift to winch faster. So we winch the treasure chest. Victory is achieved and that is the tutorial. Next to jump into the real thing. Hood, outlaws and legends. Let's see if it's any fun. Okay, so this is basically like the hub. I like the way Robin Hood looks. Very cool. So you've got perks over here. You've got matchmaking in the middle. Challenges and collectibles. Character select over here. Big John doesn't fuck around. Okay, this is a cool map. Massive castle. The tutorial didn't really explain the PvP aspect. What are the other players we're against going to be doing? Oh shit. Good job, Craig. Immediately alert the guard. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is cool though. I like the environment. We're gonna f this guy up. Assassinate with the hammer. Oh yes. Beautiful. So I guess it's like a race. There's another team like mine and we need to steal the treasure first, I'm guessing. Okay, let's just run past these people. Oh, good, good job, Craig. You've alerted him again. Fantastic. Nice. Fuck it. We go in with the big damage. Oh, smack this guy. And again. Oh, yes. I don't know why. There's something about the combat in this game that makes me make noises. This guy looks like he needs to be assassinated. Oh, shit. Okay, that was the sheriff, I guess. It's all good. It's all part of the learning process. Wow, we're actually in a bloody huge castle. Guess I'll grab the chest. So where's the closest extraction point? Village, wetlands, ruins. Let's go wetlands. Yeah, let's just walk through the front door with this stolen treasure chest. Oh, fuck guard here. Let me just go take out this guy real quick. Oh, shit. Take him out. Lift up this. Okay, let's get her out. That's fine. I'll carry that. I'm the strong one. Place the chest here. Winch it up, I guess. Seems like there's some PvP going on over there. Fuck, I'll just chill here and winch. Seems like there's some people on the way. Let's get ready for combat. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, lads, come on. I'm going to continue to winch this. And I'm going to stop. Come on. Good job. Quick, winch that shit. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, no. Intense game. Okay, that's fine. That just spawn me in front of an NPC. Okay, our whole team's here now. Speed winch. Let's go. One more. Power through it, lads. I think we got it. Yes, there it is. And we won. It was okay. It, it didn't blow me away. It, I feel kind of meh after that. I'm not super excited to play more after my first game. Let me play as Robin next time. Visit the perks shop. So these unlock at different ranks. Yeah, I'll just do matchmaking again. Oh shit. Come on, finish him. There it is. I killed him by hitting him with my bow. Very cool. Oh, hello. Nice shot. Oh, there's someone behind me. Ow, not good. Can you cover me? Mr. Peanut Butter, I've got the chest. Great. All right, I've got a few people here to protect me now. Nice. We're all together as a group of four. This is what we need. Just suicide off here. Oh, no damage. Okay. Is anyone going to come to defend me? What are they doing? Lads. All right, start winching away, I guess. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, her hello. And the running... And the combat and the movement is so unbelievably clunky. We've tried Robin. Next character. Tookie. Support flail vitality. Nice. So this time we've got a new map. Very cool looking castle once again. You lure him, I'll, I'll pickpocket him. I'm coming in hot. Yoink. My key. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My team will finish him off. Good job. I don't really want to be the one to carry the chest. I want to be the one to protect. Jesse doesn't seem to want to carry the chest either. Come on, Jesse. I'll take that chest. So we're both sitting targets for bow and arrow characters right now. Come on, team. We got Hammer Guy coming in hot. Big damage. Oh. Oh. Okay, we almost got another one. I had like no health. That was pretty good. Oh. GG. Oh, I don't know. 
I don't even know what they could do to fundamentally fix the issue that is let the other team do all the work and then swoop in at the end. Oh man, is this going to be a cancelled video? I feel bad for my editor having to turn this into an entertaining video. The next morning. I'm back today with some more Hood Outlaws and Legends because I'm kind of wondering if maybe I was too harsh the first time I played the game. Maybe trying it again today I've got a different perspective. Who knows? Yeah, definitely haven't played this map. A pretty cool aesthetic. Let's go team. Sneaky, ooh, we got some hanging bodies in the tree. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's uh, assassinate him. Oh, Came yes. Don't mind me. I'm just walking around to hit you with my hammer. <laughs> the enemy team has the chest. Here they are. Big damage. Oh, he popped his ulti. The ulti lasts really long. John is OP. Smack the shit out of him. All right, mate, you can carry it. I'm playing as John. I will protect. Let's just fucking charge this guy. Big damage. Big miss. It doesn't feel very stealthy. It feels like we're just kind of brawling. Can the enemy team see me in here? I've never felt such apathy. That's it. Get Johned. And another one. You want to get Johned as well? There we go. Let's follow Ice Chode. He will lead us to the promised land. I'm here to back you up, my dude. You can be Ice Chode. I will be Fire Chode. Together, we will be the brothers of big damage. You can't see me. I'm crouched. You can't see me. You can see me, apparently. Okay. Hammer. Right in the ass. Oh, he's got poison cloud around me. Killed by what's good, bruv. Not this game. Enemy player here. We're all just going to zerg him. It's one guy just running around. Big damage. Good job, team. Let's assassinate one of these. One. Number two. Oh, double kill. Okay. We're playing pretty good this time. Wait, the enemy team have already got the chests and they're extracting it. Yeah, I just got absolutely gangbanged. And that's the game. Yeah. <sighs> I've, I've come back today to just give the game one final try and I, I just I'm not feeling any satisfaction from it whatsoever I just feel nothing. Well, I gave it a solid try So after playing hood outlaws and legends for a bit my first impressions are as follows the graphics and environment looks nice I enjoyed the start of the games for the PvE stuff and the concept of the game is unique despite being flawed the combat in this game is so basic, clunky, and lackluster that it nullified the fun potential of the PvP. I genuinely feel like I've seen most of what the game has to offer in 90 minutes and it got boring very quickly. The entire PvPVE game mode is flawed and teams just wait around for someone else to grab the chest before sniping it at the end. Stamina drains so quickly from everything that you're extremely limited what you can do with the combat. I'd be very surprised if it was possible to 1v2 in this game as the stamina just doesn't seem to allow for it. The characters feel super imbalanced, the hammer guy was clearly the strongest, and there's nothing stopping you from stacking the same characters on your team. The whole stealth aspect of the game feels like it's ignored and inconsequential. Most games players just brawl and nobody cares about alerting the NPCs. The NPC AI is very poor, and the game is overpriced costing $30 when personally I wouldn't play it even if it was free. There's hardly any content to justify a $30 price tag really. Overall, Hood Outlaws and Legends seems like a very poorly thought out game and feels fundamentally broken on many levels. I can't see this game maintaining a player base past two months and if you're looking for a similar third person multiplayer objective game you might as well play For Honor or Hunt Showdown as both of these are vastly superior although don't offer the same stealth feel. But that's it for this video guys as always let me know your thoughts on Hood Outlaws and Legends in the comments below and what do you think needs to be done to make this game somewhat what fun. Social media links on screen. Thanks for watching. I hope you all had a successful day and I'll see you again really soon.